There are about 27 uh, banks in Ghana at the moment. Um, for the indigenous uh, companies, uh, there is a different capitalization requirement compared to the, the foreign uh, companies, owned companies, I mean. Uh, clearly, uh, there's been in increased competition. All the uh, financial institutions are trying to um, meet the, the uh, capitalization requirement uh, by the end of the year. And clearly, I think most of them are on course. There have been different strategies in terms of, of meeting the capitalization requirement. Uh, there have been rights issues. There's also been a uh, call for equity uh, investment by different uh, companies. So different strategies have been utilized in terms of meeting the capitalization. So we're expecting another round of recapitalization? No, during this period, because the old capitalization uh, requirement ends at the end of the year. Okay. Uh, so all the banks are uh, basically striving to meet that. Clearly, my bank has already met this uh, uh, way back in 1996, 2006, I mean. Uh, so we already uh, fully capitalized or exceeded the minimum capital requirements. So to what extent, though, do you think this process could spark consolidation? Clearly, we've seen a round of consolidation in Nigeria. Some think there would be a lot more. Um, you have 27 banks in Ghana right now. Do you think that's too much for this market? Uh, clearly, uh, the original thought was that some of the banks may uh, merge uh, in order to meet the minimum requirements. But recently, I think there have been significant efforts made by different banks in terms of uh, attracting uh, additional capital to meet the requirement. So that is uh, yet to be seen. Uh, however, uh, I personally believe that there will be consolidation in the long term given the, the size of the market. Uh, clearly, I don't think uh, there's enough business for 27 banks. And of course, uh, there will be uh, the interest for the individual banks to, to become bigger in order to be big players. And uh, personally, I see that as the, the major uh, driver for consolidation in the long run. All right, talk to us about um, your, your bank itself, um, Ghana Commercial Bank, uh, 157 branches. I get the sense that there's a strong focus on retail banking. What's your experience in Ghana today? Uh, clearly, uh, my bank being the, uh, the largest indigenous bank, uh, uh, basically is about 59 years old um, this year. And clearly, uh, the original focus had been that it was primarily involved in uh, financing the oil, downstream oil sector. However, since um, 2010, um, there's been a major restructuring whereby most of the debt that was owed by the state oil refinery has been repaid. And clearly, the current management is focused on, on diversifying the, uh, the loan book. Uh, clearly, we are doing a combination of retail lending as well as um, corporate lending in order to be able to have a, a fully diversified portfolio uh, for the future and to be able to manage our risk. All right, but you do have a focus on retail banking and give us a sense of how you manage that in an environment like Ghana. We know that historically interest rates have been very high and in Nigeria we've seen a, a strong focus on many on, on deposit gathering from the retail space as opposed to lending. What has been the experience in Ghana like and how do you manage that risk? Well, clearly from our perspective, um, because of our, our wide uh, retail network, we've been able to um, basically gather um, cheap deposits, which we intend to lend. Uh, up until now, I'm not saying that the focus is strictly on the retail. From the deposit side, clearly uh, we do get uh, cheaper uh, deposits. However, on the lending side, uh, we are recently introducing some um, scorecard lending which has actually enabled the bank to significantly improve its uh, lending to salary workers. So for example, the bank has uh, basically booked over 100 million loans in about six months since we introduced uh, our scorecard lending. So clearly that's a focus. However, we need to be able to also be able to uh, target the, the large uh, corporate uh, companies and we are, we are actually in the process of doing that in order to be able to have a, a balanced portfolio. But we, we are looking at basically getting a, 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 a large portfolio uh, which would provide incomes, a sustainable income stream in the long term uh, from the retail segment. And it's also a, a less risky uh, portfolio to manage compared to uh, corporate accounts.